Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have a new game today called Ra Rakuen? Rakuen? Rakuen. Depends on what language I suppose it comes from. If it's Japanese, it'd be Rakuen, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Uh, has not given an option for, oh, that's very loud, for volume or screen size. So I hope once I start a new game, it'll give it to me, but I'll start it now in case there's an opening cutscene, and then I'll be able to change settings later. Hopefully this is not too loud either. Let's see what this has in store for us. Beautiful. I like the music already. Okay. Controls. Arrow keys. Not the numpad. Uh, uh, arrow key. Okay. Arrow keys. Space or enter. Confirm. Interact. Escape. You talk with mom when she's with you. Uh, I really don't know much about this game. Uh, it was on my friend's Steam wish list, and I saw it, and I love pixel RPGs, and um, just, I watched a very small video on Steam, and I thought this looked adorable. So, let's see what it has in store for us. Is that me? Oh, I have such a cute little hat. I learned how to make those hats at one point. I don't think I can anymore. I can't move. Am I in a hospital? Oh boy. Oh, I'm so cute. Who's there? I guess you're a boy. Who's there? Aww. Why are we in a hospital? What's next to me? Is that my friend? Yami. Okay, so Japanese. Here we go. Hey. How'd you get in here? Your door is unlocked, man. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're happy. Oh, okay. Who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Live? Are we in a hospital? Did you just move in or something? No, I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. Oh, I can't hit space to speed up. Okay, good. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. So this is a hospital. Heh. Promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Oh, poor little kid. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hey, wait. Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. Oh. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh yeah. But don't worry, I'll come visit you again. Oh, I promise. Oh, poor little kids. They keep offending each other. Yami? Where'd you go? Oh. I can move? No? Oh yes, okay. Oh, weird, okay. Please give me options. No. Journal. No. Item. Oh, 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 that's in there. Oh, so I can just save whenever. Oh, cute. Okay. We don't, we don't need to save just yet. What's this? Patient number 237. Metrexed disodium. Oh, are these just medicines? Let's get this off here for now. So on my screen, this is full screen, so I'm really not sure what the video capture is, because when I brought it up, it was very small, and my face cam was covering most of it, so I've moved it to the right side instead of to the left, because everything was centered on the left for the game, so <laughs> see how it is. Uh, blah, 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 must be medicine I'm getting. Treatment guide. Oh, my little hat. An origami hat. Telephone? Wait, what's in here? Open the cabinet? Yes, with the telephone ringing. The cabinet is empty. Fine, I'll get the phone. Can I run? No. What up? Hello? Mom. Hello, dear. It's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm not going to be- So I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. 
but I'm off work this week and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games. I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party. <gasps> Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. Oh, so cute. So yeah. Hello, light. Oh, is a doctor coming? Yeah. Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Ha! Did you get closer? Okay, wise guy. I got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Why are you telling me about my mom? Your tests have come back and it turns out things are looking pretty good. What's wrong with me? In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. This lightning bolt of hair going on. Uh, you mean I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Why are you walking away now? Since the wing was all locked up last night, a lot of it, we believe that the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So, can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings are stolen? Okay. The voice sounds weird, but I hope that's not A house plant that looks like it could use some water. Oh, poor little thing. Push the call button. No. Just looking for me. An ivy bag filled with saline solution. Okay. Oh no! It's gone! Doctor, they took it! They took Rakuen. Oh, someone's name? What did they take? Rakuen. It's my favorite book in the whole world. Oh, cute. My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure. After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there is a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they take- Oh, that's the thought. I guess that explains why they take a children's story book. Well, I'm re- Oh, well- Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Mom's gonna be so sad. God. Mm, feels. Doctor. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Oh, I'm wandering the halls. You can't find me. Okay. The door is locked. There's a sign on the door. Read it. Yes. Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. I guess we're a law-abiding child. We won't go beyond this point. Oh, bathroom. Light. Sink. Fill the sink with water? Why not? The sink is filled with water. Okay. A mirror. multiple endings. I really don't know anything about this game. A device used to measure height. Open the locker? Yeah. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. It looks like there's something beneath the lab coat. Look underneath? No. Oh. You found 5G. Open the locker? Yeah. You find a pair of scrubs? No. Hi, doctor. What up? How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? I guess that's my current quest then. An eye chart. On the lower left corner of the eye chart, you can make out some writing. Read it. Ah, what was that? Was that a clue for something? Yes. Eh, ma, I, I. Eh. Can I go out? I, can't. I, I won't explore everything in this room first. I like to have stuff in A se semi functional vending machine. What would you like to buy? The hot coffee will be restocked as soon as our shipment arrives. 
one of my favorite things about um, venue shoots in Japan is in the winter you can get hot coffee and hot tea and sometimes even soup and stuff in it. It's so nice. You're walking along and your hands are freezing and just have a hot pan of coffee. It's so excellent. The door is rusted shut. Oh. Why? Open the locker. You find a pair of scrubs. That's all. Sorry, I've said it in other videos, but in case this is your first time watching, my keyboard is mechanical and it's clickety clackety. I love it, but I realize that it might be kind of annoying on the recording. Now, where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Let's find it. Nope, no, no, not quite. What's this book? This is my book. I doubt it. A colorful paper file. Read it? Of course. Power Cape Heroes, a group of fun-loving volunteers and patients working together to make the hospital a better place for everyone. I'm thinking I can speed up my dialogue. Or my dialogue. Yeah, space. Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently, the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix the toilet. Well, someone has to do it. I'm gonna do that. You know we're short-staffed. Fine, I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. You don't even have... You don't have anyone? Hospital admittance forms, A through F. Hey, don't touch that. Can't you see I'm working here? I'm just a little kid. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. And my stomach is growling what I wouldn't give for a peanut choo-choo. It's a great name. I would eat that candy bar. Right, doctor looking man. Jack. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Nope, I'm out. Don't like needles. Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? How old am I? Perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> uh, what can I help you with? What's up? Did you hear about the thief? Tell me about folks who are out What's up? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? I don't know. Why? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs, but so far only the platypus- Ah, uh, echidna. I knew one was a platypus. Only the platypus and the echidna families have hopped on that ant wagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. Are you a woman? I'm sorry. I don't mean to assume your gender. Jackie. Boy, da 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 da. I don't have a name still. What can I help you with? Uh, what's up? Will you say the same thing? In a world with so many new things to learn, no one needs to be bored. For example, did you know that a neutron star is so dense that a teaspoon of its matter would weigh more than all the people on Earth? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> one day you will. And then it will blow your mind. True. It's pretty mind blowing. What can I help you with? Did you hear about the thief? Here, I'll let you in. A little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? No? Hmm. Not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. Oh, like that M A I I and stuff? And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but. I was told that closet has been locked since before I started working here. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. Suspicious. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye, and for but a second, so unfortunately, I could not say. What can I help you with? Tell me about folks here. Who would you like to know about? Panky. Panky? Like Hanky Panky? The children love uh, Chef Panky. If he notices someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius! <laughs> oh, this person. Who would you like to know about? Kisaburo. If I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going... Oh, I knew Kisaburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, recently the old staff, uh, recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees, making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Aw, man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he was looking for... Buried treasure! 
I love the little excited sparkle. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Who would you like to know about? Daniel. Daniel is the purple haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patient's hair. I love plushies. Who would you like to know about? See you later. Nothing. 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 Like a clock cookies. Yo, Cora, what's up? I love your hair. Hey, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Cora. It's probably pretty easy to remember me because I'm the only girl in my grade with a pink mohawk. I mean, yeah. Whoa, cool. And don't worry, my mom knows. <laughs> She's the one who let me do it. Anyways, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Cora. Oh, hey, some friends and I are working together to do something special for the people on our floor here in the hospital. Like what? I'll have more details later, but if you find anything cool you'd want to donate, come talk to me. Okay. I know a lot of folks uh, feel powerless when they have to stay here. I bet. But here's the way I see it. No one knows how much time they have in the world. My time could be up in 80 years. Or eight minutes. Point is, I'm gonna do everything I can to make good use of my time. Time's precious, you know. That's a really good point. None of us know when we're gonna kick the bucket. If I could help just one- Ah! Uh, I accidentally hit space. If I could help just one person here, something, something, something. Dot, dot, dot. Hey there. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about me? Dude, yeah. Chief Panky came out here early. Chef. Chef Panky. Oh, I keep thinking Chief. Chef Panky came out here earlier and he was not happy. I guess the thief took a lot of food from the cafeteria kitchen. How the heck did they get into the kitchen? You can't even get there from the cafeteria. You can't even get there from the cafeteria. Believe me, I tried. Hey there! Tell me about folks here. Who do you want to know about? Tony. Just between you and me, I think Tony's hiding something. He acts so grumpy all the time, but he's got this pretty little music box in his room that he guards with his life. Why would a grumpy old dude like that have such a sweet little music box? Who do you want to know about? Sue. Sue's a sweetheart, but she's obsessed. Obsessed? Yeah, I guess she had to move to the hospital before saying goodbye to her friend. Well, that's pretty much all she talks about now. Who do you want to know about? Jackie. Jackie's that guy... Oh, you are a guy. Jackie's that guy over there at the blood draw station. He's cool. A little weird. But cool. If you ever need to know about anything technical, he's the guy to ask. Never mind. Good for now. What's this? Open the cabinet, of course. Folders filled with medical forms. It looks like there's one underneath. Yes, look underneath. You found 5G. What is G for? I wonder if I can use G at the vending machine to buy. Coffee are we talking to? Peanut Choo Choo's. Who was this for? Oh, this grumpy lady down here. Boop -a -doop -boo. Let's go give it to the grumpy lady. Hey! Shift leader. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got a lot to do right now. What do you want to do? Offer a peanut choo choo. Wait, you're giving this to me? Why not? Whoa, thank you. I haven't eaten anything all day. You're not you when you're hungry. Have Snickers. Have a peanut choo choo. <laughs> I guess they won't mind if I take a short break. Oh. There must be something I need in here. What's in here? Uh, Penance forms, nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, patient survey, what's in here? What should you do? Search upper shelf. An assortment of books and pamphlets. Uh, a newspaper clipping is sticking out from between two of the books. Read it? Of course. 19th March. Already strapped for resources, hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Which do you want to read? Middle shelf. Several years worth of medical journals. Lower cabinets. Folders filled with medical forms. A laminated card is clipped to the back of one of the folders. Read it. This closet 5C passcode 1721. We'll probably forget that. 1721. Should be easy to find. Alright, so let's see. Alright, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm worried how this is recording. Let's see, this is my room. This is my room, okay. What is it? Hi, let me 
check your bath. The door is locked. Okay. Let me check your stuff before I talk to you. A broken music box. If you touch that music box, I'll break your hands. Well, crabby old man, Tony. What the heck do you think you're doing in my room, kid? Get out. Figures. When I want visitors, no one shows up. But when I need peace and quiet, every idiot in the world has to come into my room. Well, you're crabby. Where's the nurse with my coffee? Oh, you want coffee. A book about airplanes. Treatment guy. That looks like blue. Yeah, blood samples. Hi, nurse. There's no point in talking to Tony before he's had his coffee. He'll just growl at you like a big angry bear. I heard that, you little brat. See what I mean? I'll get you some coffee. It's 5G. Excellent. I don't remember if the coffee had a price. Let's go down here while we're on this side. The door is locked. Look at the sign. Keep out. Only authorized personnel allowed beyond this point. Look at the doorknob. There is an electronic device with passcode entry label font closet 5C1721. Oh. Let's see what's on the... Can I inspect? I love this pixel style. It's so huge. The toilet in there is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Hey, what are you doing? I, um... This is a girl's room, you know. But if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. Winston. Hi, Winston. How are you doing today? What up? My wife's been asleep for months now. Oh, that's sad. Sorry, Winston. But I still talk with her every day, and sometimes I read to her. That's so sweet. That's so sad. How tough. Oh, is this game gonna give me feels? I was not prepared for feels. Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of the devices has been turned had been turned on. How are you? No, I did. Oh, paper. That's quite impressive. I think you're talking about my hat. I'd be careful with my clickety clacks. Tell me about the folks here. Who would you like to learn about? Sue. On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. Is that your wife in the coma? Who would you like to learn about? Tony. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long time. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. That's true. Though there are some things that... There are lines. Uh, Cora. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale... To boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes. Aww. Uh, never mind. Anything in your uh, camera? No. Thermometer. Patient 138. Anoxic brain injury. Stage 1 coma. Respiratory therapy. Oh. An IV bag. Yo. Oh, you're Sue. So you want to use her bathroom, eh? Well, I guess. Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't just let anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's room, you know? Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Do I? Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Don't tell me to go to the jar. Yep. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket. Better heard some at the door. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'll let you use the bathroom whenever you want. If I have to go now, how does that help me? Do you think you can do that for me? I'll try my best. Aw, look at that cute little face. Why do I have a hat? I wonder if my hair is falling out or something. Thank you. The last place I was playing was with Dan uh, Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. Oops. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't mean to put space. Space key happy. Wow. So many different marbles. Yeah. I've been collecting them for a long time. Oh, you look sad. A house plant that looks like it could use some water. All of them apparently look like they could use some water. Go out. Oops, and here. Uh, yo, you have coffee. Knock it off. The door is locked. What's this weird room? 
It appears that there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. That's weird in a hospital. Perhaps you could get through if you had the right tools. Wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna cap it? Yes, a soup ladle that is caked with mud is laying on top of old medical forms. It looks like there's something beneath the ladle. Money? Yeah, 5G. Blood sample. A thermometer. Oops, whoops, there. A stack of notes that has been stapled together and attached to the inside of the folder. Page one. Based on the results of Kisaburo's brain scan, we believe that the metastasis... We believe the meta... Metastasis? My medical pronunciation. That's so good. Metastases to be the cause for his delirium. It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medicine. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. Page 2, torn. 1021. Was found climbing a ladder in construction zone 5B. When questioned, replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. 1028. Was found in the yard digging in the mud. Completely unresponsive when questioned. Appeared to be unaware of location and time. 10, oh, 11 2. Carrying bags of. Dot, 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 dot. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. What's wrong with me? You need something? What's up? It seems these days it seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. You need something? Cheer about the thief? I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone has been sneaking around here after hours. I hear they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen, which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital that we patients don't have access to. What? Were they crawling through the vents? You'd have to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think that I've lost my mind. You need something? Tell me about folks. I'm not one for gossip. Oh, that's cool. See you later. All right. Well, that's a nice flower. Are you not gonna comment on it? Alright. Uh, look at this. Instructions. Kisaburo is not... is not allowed to have caffeinated liquids before prep. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Read it. Yes. Y-M-I-I-I. Suspicious. The door is locked. Well, she just been walk. It's good to walk around now and then. Walking is great for your circulation. The hot coffee will be restocked as soon as our shipment arrives. So I can't get that yet. Um, let's see. All right, I am going to end this here. Uh, we'll continue next time. We'll go up to the cafeteria. Hopefully, get some clues about my book, and hopefully, this all recorded okay. Um, if not, I'll try a different way of recording in the next episode and see if I can't get some kind of good system going uh, or run it in windowed. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure something out if it does if it looks too weird. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this and hope you've enjoyed as much as I have. I love these like cute little story RPG pixel games. Uh, I'm really excited to play this, especially because I have no idea what it's about. If you have any questions or comments, please write it down below. Otherwise, if you have any games you'd like to see me play, also pop that down there. If not, I'll hopefully see you in the next episode. Until next time, see ya. Bye.